Hello guys, my name's Asmaran, and yes, another video, another 49ers video, and this one is on, as you can see, it is on the NFC West draft grades, 49ers got it right with Trey Lance, Rams took historical gamble, now I'm not going to read all the grades and stuff, but I just wanted to go through, oh well of course it's 49ers news, so I'm going to keep it all 49ers, so, uh, G, uh, G GF, yeah again, not good, I'm butchering people's names, GF, uh, the original content editor on NFL.com, and his was on, notable selection, best pick, Trey Lance. So, let's have a look. So, it says here, draft slot, round one, number three overall, and it says, hello readers, I'm sure many of you will argue that selection belongs in the next super live, su superlative section, but my most surprising pick, but I disagree. Yes, the... The Football Association spent weeks telling us that, believe it or not, 49ers was going to select Matt Jones <laughs> mm -hmm. at number three overall, but that was just never made any damn sense. The 49ers aggressively traded up nine spots from 12, giving them up two additional first rounders and a third in the process. Is that the kind of move you make to get a high, uh, a high floor guy? Do you seriously uh, mortgage the future of a quarterback described by NFL Network? Uh, former pro scout Daniel Jamal as a high effort thrower with slightly above average arm strength someone whose lack of twitch and uh, athleticism will limit the playbook with the way the game is trading no that's not the play you shoot the moon you go for the guy with the total package in 2021 when it comes to the game's most Im important position NFL franchise want that extra something Lance has it the guy's a six foot four, two hundred thirty pound tank, with a uh, big arm and easy to run legs. Oh, and he can't even legally drink until this Sunday. This is the kind of prospect you sell the farm for. I can't wait to see um, Trey Lance quarterback friendly scheme with this dy dynamic presence under centre. See, everyone said it. Everyone thought Mac Jones to be, you know, if you've seen some of the videos, I, I didn't care who we got. As long as we, um, as long as we've got the right one uh, for the future of our team, um, yeah. But so many people thought it would be Matt Jones or Justin Fields were popping up right near the end. Um, but yeah, man, I was sh shocked. But then again, do you want a Matt Jones? Because a lot of people were saying, you know, Matt Jones is sort of like a Jimmy G. So do you want to sort of like Jimmy G again? Well, no. Just open up the playbook. Just pick someone else different. You know, I've seen Trey Lance's um, videos on YouTube, like, from the good and the bad. And do you know what? He's something. He's something else. Um, but, yeah, there's, there's, like, a little negative bits. But come to the 49ers, learn. Learn from Jimmy G. He learns from you. And that's it. You're part of the family. So you, you learn from each other. And then your negatives is going to be your positives. But I think it's a fantastic choice we we picked Trey Lance. It was great. And um, to be fair, Matt Jones easily fits the Patriots. And I mean easily fits the Patriots. Because, yet again, you've got to realise that Bill Belichick... I think well, there's reports that Bill Belichick wanted Jimmy G. So think about that. You've got Matt Jones. According to some of the 49ers fans that didn't want because he's like a Jimmy G. So there you go. Everyone wins, really. But we see what happens this season and next. Um, yeah, I'm glad we got him. Um, leave your comments down below. Was it a good idea? Was it not a good idea? Is Mac Jones right for the um, Patriots? Or is he not? Just leave your comments down below. Thanks for the uh, 20 subscribers. Really appreciate it. Subscribe if you're new, because we will we'll be doing more 49ers news. And um, yeah, guys, I will see you uh, on the next video.